Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our urban worm bag that has the African night crawlers in it. Now, it has been 43 days since our last update. I have been trying to leave these worms for a while because they, they do seem to be doing okay, but it's pretty chilly out in my basement, and I've just been trying to let them kind of stick to themselves. If they happen to chew through all the cardboard, they can go through their castings again. I highly doubt they're going to get through all the cardboard in there, and we have some cocoa coal here as well. And the big thing is moisture, and the question is, is there enough moisture in there? And that's what we're going to take a look at right now. Typically, we've had a ball of moisture in the middle, and really the sides have been kind of dry. And it's been hard to change that, really, uh, with the current conditions here in my basement, which is about 65 to 68 degrees. So until we get to the spring and summer months, it might be harder to get these worms really going, but they are surviving this winter. I was really worried about them in this system. I don't have a great way to heat it if they did start to get really cold, like into the 60s down here, which it shouldn't happen, but has happened to them before. So we're going to take a look at them. We're going to see how they're doing. I do have some food to add. Actually, I've got it right here. I've got some uh, ground up carrot and celery and spinach ready to go into the system. It's not going to be, it's going to be very dry, so we're going to have to add water, but this should be at least something that's going to maybe heat up a little bit. It's also not frozen because it went through my juicer. There should be no bugs on it and no issues like that. So with that, I know I just went through a lot, but let's go take a look at the system and see how it's doing. All right, here is our urban worm bag with the African night crawlers in it. Let's go ahead and open this up take a look and see how things are doing in here. First off, and unsurprisingly, it's very, very dry on the top here. We're just going to zoom in just a little bit. I think I'm blocking the light there at that level. And we're just going to go ahead and pull this cardboard off the top. Again, I'm not surprised. Very dry. Just going to put this off to the side. And we're going to start digging in here. Now, I don't see any bugs or anything, which is a good sign. Uh, well, relatively speaking, I do see a couple of little like mites and stuff, but I don't see any fruit flies or anything like that. Now, in here, as you can see, we've got this one layer of cardboard. We actually have a piece of banana peel in here that looks like it still has a little bit of moisture left in it. We'll throw that off to the side over there. Underneath here, we added in last time, well, first off, it looks like we've got some coffee grounds here that are breaking apart. But this right here is uh, hemp bedding material. It looks like there was a little bit of, uh, it looks like it's kind of dried out a little bit. We do have some coffee grounds in here still. Those are also dried out. Let's just go ahead and keep digging in here until we get some moisture and see if we've got some worms in here in this moist section in the center. We still have, I threw this in a while ago. Surprisingly, it really hasn't been worked on and that's a beet. I thought that they would love these. I figure the sugar would be good, but um, apparently not really. It's very, very slow to break down. I probably should have chopped them up a little bit more. We'll throw it off to the side here. Up, oh, and I see our first. As you can see, it's very moist down in here see this material right here though nice and moist and we've got our first worms as well you can see them all in here there's a bunch of them actually it looks like maybe 10 to 12 well, actually there's more than that there's a whole bunch of them in here in this material this is, looks like where all the moisture is so this is where they are obviously and as you can see there's a good this is coco coir really those aren't castings but we've got some little worms in here that are african night crawlers so this is a good it looks like they're still in here. They're still surviving. Um, I didn't check the temperature. Actually, let me just grab that. Let's just take a look at the temperature real quick down here. I think you can see that. So 18 degrees Celsius. And for Fahrenheit, that is 64.9 degrees, 65 degrees or so. So, and we did let out a little bit of the heat from opening it up, which is okay. But as you can see, there is moisture in here still in that area. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of, let's take a look at this on the sides here. It's just to see if there's anything on the sides over here. And you can see here's a piece of uh, cloth that we added in here. They're moving through that pretty well. They seem to really like that. Let's just take a look over here. Looks like there's a little bit of moisture over here. And again, we do have at least one worm in there. So you can see they're finding the moisture where it is. There's not a lot over there, but there was some. So let's just put that back. Let's go ahead and take a look over here on this bottom section. Not as much moisture over here. We've got another one of these uh, beets. Actually, there is a worm on here, though. Hopefully, they'll start working on these soon. I think we just need some more heat in here to kind of help those things break down and more moisture. Without moisture, really, you don't have any chance of stuff breaking down because moisture is needed for a lot of the microbes that you'd find in these systems. 
So we're just going to cover that back up for now. Break apart those coffee grounds. I just want to check this top side here, and I don't want to... There we go. Again, some moisture over here. Again, there is a worm. So there are worms in this section as well. As you can see, one moving right there. And there's another one over here on this side. So this Coco Coir seems to be doing a much better job of holding in that moisture than some of the other materials that we've put in here. And maybe the, uh, the cloth also has been a good one. Here's a piece of cardboard over here that seems to be worked on a little bit. And again, on this side, let's just check over here. Uh, this time I'm not seeing any worms on this side. So nothing on this one side over here it looks like, but the other sides all had worms as well. So now, I think what we really need to do here is we need to try to get some more moisture in this system. <clears throat> and the first thing that we're going to do though is we are going to add that food in the center here. Because this is this food is nice and uh, it's dry, but it's at least already broken apart, so it's going to be a perfect source of actual food. And that is this right here. So this is carrot, celery, some spinach, just a variety of foods in there, already broken apart, ready to consume. This is, I know, one of their favorite foods to eat, and it does have, you can hear it, it does have a little bit of moisture. You can see there's some water left on my gloves, so it's not like it's completely dry. And though, by the way, there was a pear in there as well. So that'll give them something to chew on here. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cover this back up. With the material we have in here, I'm not going to add, I don't really want to add a whole lot of material in here. Although I probably should try to uh, find a bet, maybe some more cocoa coir. I do have some in the basement, but I don't have it ready to go. And maybe add in a layer of cocoa coir to the top here that's already moist. Because that stuff tends to hold in moisture a little bit better, I feel, than the, the cardboard that we have in here. With that, we are going to add water, because they need it. And we're just going to go ahead and dump some water on top here. This is the water that has the BTI mix in it. Not too worried. I do have a uh, plastic container under this if any of it should run out the bottom. But this is nice, good soaking for this cardboard. Hopefully the cocoa coir that's in there will also soak some of this up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add on our piece of cardboard that we had back on top here. And really... If I had one, I'd probably put a piece of plastic or something over the top to see if I could reflect this moisture in just a little bit closer. I do wonder sometimes if it sort of runs off. Uh, yeah, that's why I have this piece of cardboard on here, really, is to try to get the... Uh, let's just see, I think there's holes in this, but... To kind of hold some of this moisture so it slowly drips in and kind of saturates very slowly instead of just running right through. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of drip some of this on here. And see is how it's sitting, it's kind of pooling on here. And my hope is, is that it really sort of just slowly leaks in instead of all at once like it was doing when I just dump it on. So, but I do need something else I think to hold more moisture in this system. I think Cocoa Coir is going to be that solution. Um, I will have to saturate some, I just don't have the... Uh, it takes up a lot of space when you do that, so I, I, need, I need some time to get that done. But I think that's going to be the goal for this is to saturate some Cocoa Coir put that on top here that's going to hold in that moisture the problem is, is I'm going to add a lot more bedding at that point and then the worms are going to run around and hopefully then they don't spread out so much that they won't mix and find each other which is the other worry so there we go that's our update for this system it is doing pretty well um, considering you know there's not a lot of, uh, of heat in this system and these worms do like those warmer temperatures so with that we'll close this back up and again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or anything, please leave a, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.